Hello, welcome to AICT Insights, a diverse show on education, innovation, startups, entrepreneurship, and much more. On this episode of AICT Insights, we have AICT advisor, Dr. Ramesh Unni Krishnan. I welcome you on the show, sir. Namaste. Today, we will be discussing about AICTE QIP PG certificate program launched by AICTE for the academic development of faculty members belonging to core engineering discipline. So, my first question to you would be, what is AICT QIP PG certificate program and what exactly QIP stands for? Yeah, thank you so much. The so, QIP means quality improvement program. This is one among the oldest schemes. Uh, which was started by Ministry of Education uh, since 1970s. And the scheme was meant for upskilling the teachers who are on to the engineering and technology domain, especially from the engineering colleges and the polytechnic streams. Because earlier the qualifications were just B.Tech to teach B.Tech and uh, Diploma or B.Tech to teach Diploma. So, that time there were this M.Tech courses were not popular, PhD was not popular among all the faculty members and all. So, the government thought like all the teachers, they should upskill themselves and they should upgrade their qualification to the higher level. So, that was the scheme initially started at, wherein the colleges used to sponsor the, the, the government used to select the faculty members based on their merit and the parent organization used to sponsor them, that is with the full salary paid. So, these teachers used to go and take admission in the premier institutions in our country like uh, the Indian Institute of Science, the IITs, the NITs, they stay there for two years or three years, they complete their MTech, PhD and come back. This was a scheme, one of the oldest scheme and the QIP PG certificate is the latest version or maybe a new uh, idea or a new phenomenon that ACT is putting forth. That is, it is a six months course. And it is in the initial phase, it is meant for the faculty members from the core engineering discipline. Yeah. So, why sir, this scheme only focuses the faculty members of core engineering discipline? Yeah. So, maybe for the last uh, 5 to 10 years, so we have seen like some boom is happening about around the courses that are falling under the computer science or IT domain. Like the parents and the students, they are more getting interested towards IT related courses. whereas almost all the engineering colleges, they have excellent infrastructure in the core engineering discipline. Core engineering means the mother branches, that is uh, mechanical, civil, electrical, electronics, chemical, production, whatever we call. So, even though the colleges had very good faculty members, excellent infrastructure in core engineering courses, but somehow the student mindset was towards IT related courses. And this made Maybe there are colleges where uh, the mechanical, civil, electrical courses, the admissions are too less. Even though the infrastructure is good, teachers are good and the teachers are not, their expertise is not being exploited. So, we were getting lot of and you know, we have, we AICT regulates the faculty norms, the faculty qualifications and all. So, we had already mentioned, we are always mentioned like a faculty should have is graduation, post graduation or PhD that should be in the relevant discipline or in the appropriate discipline so that he can be called as a faculty member in that branch. I can just uh, say an example, if I am a mechanical engineering teacher, then my undergraduate degree should be in mechanical, post graduation should be in mechanical and PhD also should be in a subject in and around mechanical. Then I am called as a faculty member of mechanical and I am supposed to teach only the subjects of mechanical engineering domain. So, when this computer science courses started growing like anything and the affinity of parents and students towards uh, the core engineering started coming down. So, we started receiving lot of requests from the faculty members of core engineering discipline. Sir, can we acquire some additional qualification so that we can also teach in computer science domain. So, this was the seed that we got and honorable chairman sir, vice chairman sir, they told start working on a scheme wherein we can enable the teachers from core engineering discipline to teach in the computer science subjects also. This was the thought process why we developed this PG certificate program in core in emerging area. So, what was the main vision or we can say a main motto behind uh, introducing this certificate program into for <coughs> majorly for the faculty uh, development? Yeah. So, ma'am you know, see this uh, new education policy or the national education policy 2020 
that also encourages multidisciplinary education like the like what i answered for the last question it's not like a mechanical engineering teacher can only teach in mechanical engineering okay. now it is cross disciplinary interdisciplinary intradisciplinary multidisciplinary so we should equip if a teacher wants to acquire knowledge in whichever domain he wants so mm -hmm. we should open arenas wherein he or she can go and acquire the knowledge this was the thought process like it is also in line with the new education policy wherein any teacher who has got passion for any subject so we are providing avenues for them to acquire the knowledge get it certified so that even the college also will say if i go and tell ki i am very good at it mm -hmm. so what is the proof that i am good in it so there unfortunately or fortunately in our country certificate matters a lot so that is why this time this it is this qip pg certificate program is at a certificate also which is been issued by the top institutions in the country along with an aict logo okay. so though that that's a stamp like he has he or she has acquired the at least the basic knowledge to switch over to the emerging area domain is there any charges or fee that candidate have to pay to enroll for the program no ma'am here the beauty of this scheme is that uh, it is absolute free of cost okay. that is for the teachers it is in the initial phase the initial phase is absolute free of cost i'll just a little bit elaborate it so per institute so this year we had a call for expression of interest from all the top institutes the centrally funded institutes to start with uh, with indian institute of science the iits and the triple it and of course cdac mm -hmm. and uh, we received expression of interest from 20 institutions in the initial phase so aict will be funding this institutions to cater to 50 students each okay that is each and every institute of the host institute whether it is iic whether it is iit or whether it is triple it or whether it is cdac so the first 50 students who are getting enrolled so their entire expenses are bound by aict including the certification so all expenses are uh, bound by aict but again you know see through this 20 institutions in the initial phase so we could train only 1000 teachers with mm -hmm. 15 to 20000 teachers yes. and uh, in the kitty of aict uh, all of us know we have about uh, 7 lakhs odd teachers mm -hmm. maybe of that about maybe 50 percentage or 40 percent will be the faculty from the core engineering domain so our aim of this scheme is that in the years to come maybe in the 5 years or 10 year time all the teachers of core engineering discipline if they wish to acquire an additional certification or qualification in emerging area we should be able to open it thousand is too small compared to 2.5 or 3 lakhs so we have also kept an option like if somebody mm -hmm. wants to get enrolled on to these institutions over and above this 50000 then obviously it will be on a chargeable basis because the faculty has to bear the fee so that means first 1000 uh, yeah. faculty members will be able to get the certificate free of cost free of cost Fine. and also we are in the process of adding more institutions on to the uh, host institutions personally there are only uh, 20 institutions a uh, few of the iits few mm -hmm. of the iits iisc and cdac and many other iits and all the nits almost they have also shown interest ki they also want to be a part of it so it all becomes on how it starts how many applications we are receiving how it is been received and after completion of the course are they really able to switch over deliver to the it, computer yeah. science department and they could deliver or not it all depends on that to further scaling up so sir what is the eligibility criteria that aict has decided for a faculty members to enroll for the program yeah ma'am personally uh, any faculty member of any of the aict approved institutions okay falling under the core engineering discipline that is they have to be an assistant professor or an associate professor or a professor of an aict approved institution in the core engineering branches that is either from mechanical engineering department or from chemical or from electronics or from electrical or from civil or from automobile but having a minimum of 5 years of experience okay 5 years is a pretty time for a teacher to get settled in that college it's not like somebody just completed the course in mechanical engineering and joined and immediately i want to get an additional certificate mm -hmm. because his main job was to teach in mechanical or civil right so this is an add on to him Yeah. that means minimum 5 years of experience is required yes, to apply mandatory. for this it's program. mandatory for uh, the aspirants who wish to enroll for this uh, aict qip pg certificate program sir is there any uh, minimum criteria for host institutions yeah ma we are just kept ki as i told uh, the maximum limit for which we could fund an institute hmm. that we have kept as 50 students per batch but doesn't mean like uh, somebody only 10 students are there so we can't fund okay. so we have kept like the minimum should be 30 students 
and maximum 50. Maximum 50 what ACT free, funds? Free of cost. Free of cost. If it is from 51st onwards, mm -hmm. so it will be on chargeable basis. Okay. So, what is the flow of this <coughs> admission process and what is the last date to apply for this program? Yeah, ma'am, actually the scheme was launched uh, on 15th of uh, mm -hmm. May, precisely yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, the application, now the posters are, posters, the communication from chairman to all the colleges and all they are in the dissemination process. And uh, we would like to start the course by July. Okay. By July first week, the actual classes should start. Because see, it's also depends on the schedule available with the host institutions. Mm -hmm. Because they also have their UG programs, PG programs, PhD programs and all other activities. So here, uh, some portion of the course, the student has to be in the campus. So their accommodation, everything has to be taken care. So by checking all the academic activities that are happening in the host institutions, mm -hmm. we are proposing, like let the classes start by July. So that in six months time, they could successfully complete the coursework and uh, examination. So for six months, they have to attend the classes in offline mode? No ma'am. This entire QIP PG certificate program, it will be offered in a hybrid mode. Okay. So we are uh, mandating that minimum one month okay. to a maximum of three months, the candidates has to be on a physical mode available with the campus. Minimum and one month and maximum up to three months, they have to be in the campus. Uh, they should get the flavor of the host institution. They are the best institutions in the country. They have to be there. They have to attend the labs. They have to attend the contact classes. But the remaining portion, that is maybe if it is one month, then the remaining five months. If it is three months, then the remaining three months. They have to, it will be a customized online course. Mm -hmm. And also some maybe three to six credits will be offered through N NPTEL. That again depends on the host institution. If they feel like few of the NPTEL courses can be a part of it, it's obviously up to the content. It's obviously up to the host institution to decide. So there may be some three to six credits will be through NPTEL. Remaining will be offered or learned through the physical and uh, off online mode. And what is the last date to apply for this program? So for the time being, we have kept it as 6 June. Mm -hmm. And let's see how many applications we are receiving because uh, the application also needs like if I am from college A and if I want to join to this college, to this course, then also I need to get a permission from my head of the institution, right? So, so we also want a commitment from the head of the institution of uh, the aspirant, like if he gets, he or she gets selected, then he will be freed or he will be permitted to attend the classes and all. So for time being, we have kept, just to add to the schedule like July, we should start the class. We have kept June 6th as the last date. Let us see how many applications we it receive may be by extend. June 6th. It we don't know, depending okay. on the number of applications, depending on the number of applications and maybe some because it is learnt that uh, vacation is happening in many part of the country among the engineering colleges. So for their administrative reasons and all, if some genuine reasons are there, we may think of action but for the time being it is fixed as uh, 6th June. June. Yeah. Right. Sir, like AICTE, QIP, PG certificate program, is there any other such schemes which is AICT is running for the development of faculty members? Yeah, ma'am, obviously, see, this QIP, as I told, this was a long-running project mm -hmm. of Ministry of Education uh, rooted via AICT. And the, one of the major activity of my bureau, that is a training and learning bureau itself, is to upskill the teachers. Mm -hmm. So we have something called ATEL, that is AICT Training and Learning Academy, through which we conduct faculty development programs. So it was established in, before ATEL Academy, there was a scheme under AICT called FDP faculty development program or a summer winter school. These things were happening, then short term training programs were there. So once Attal Academy was started, the so entire faculty trainings got culminated to the Attal Academy. And uh, we conduct faculty development program through offline mode. So academic year 23-24, we conducted about 450 faculty development programs across the country. 24-25, the applications are on. This time we have uh, about 500 FDPs that are sanctioned with us. 450 will be basic FDPs and 50 will be advanced FDPs where the duration will be of two weeks. And among the 450 faculty development programs that are of basic nature, 100 is set aside for polytechnics, 100 is set aside for the new inmates of our family that is the BBA, BCA colleges and 250 for the normal. All these things will be in the 12 emerging areas. So this is the main activity. In addition to this Atal Faculty Development Program, we have tie up with many organizations, domain specific, 
for VLSI, for AR, VR, for 3D printing, for uh, cyber security. So, with the, with the, on tie up with these organizations, we used to arrange a, a faculty development program on pro bono basis. We never charge anything from the faculty members for attending these uh, faculty development programs. Okay. Either it is pro bono basis or a wheel fund. That's okay. it. Sir, any other message you would like to give to our audience with regards to AICT initiative for students, for emerging areas or for the faculty development? Yeah. No, the, the major message which I would like to say to all of our stakeholders, that is maybe it is the management or the teachers or the students, is that AICT is not a regulator. AICT is just a true friend or a mentor or a guide to you all. So we are there for the overall development. It's not like just granting approval to the college and when you go beneath the name of the college, you can see approved by ACT. Just, just one among the activity. We are there for the overall development of the entire fraternity of technical mm -hmm. education. Through my training and learning bureau, we train the teachers, we upskill you. There is scholarship and grants bureau which gives all the scholarships, all pass of grants so that the colleges are being upgraded. There is policy and academic planning bureau who creates all the model curriculums, all the minors, all the curriculum, the content and the policies and all. Approval bureau obviously gives the approval. We have international cell which helps the students for the foreign collaborations and even foreign universities to come here or Indian universities to go there. So ACT is just like a basket which has got uh, so many fruits for all the students, teachers and the management also because if the college is too good then we won't ask them, you come every year and take our approval. We are giving them for three years, for five years, like that. So it's just like a basket having all portfolios, mm -hmm. which together will help the entire technical education uh, fraternity to flourish. Sir, uh, one message to uh, core engineering disciplines faculty members regarding this program. Yeah. So this is actually the AICT QIP PG certificate program. It's actually a rejuvenation for all the core engineering faculty. Rather than sticking on to my own discipline, my own subjects, my own preferred subject. Here we are opening a door to you. It's to you to decide like if this is your area of interest or these are the emerging areas that are going to rule the entire technical education, then we are with you. We are here to handhold you. So to all my faculty, brothers and sisters, this is a golden opportunity for you. Kindly make use of it. This will be an ongoing activity. So it's not, uh, don't get upset like in the first lot of 1000 you are not in. So ACT is committed like all of you, maybe in 3, 4 or 5 years, all of you, whoever is interested in getting this certificate as a part of their qualification, so we are with you. Thank you. So you have given an excellent overview of the QIP PG certificate program. I hope your insights will help and motivate faculty members to enroll for the program and after successful completion of the program, they will equip themselves with skill and knowledge which is necessary to effectively teach students about emerging areas. Thank you so much for joining us on AICT Insights. Thank you. Namaste. Stay tuned for more videos on AICT Insights.